Okay, right now it is mid-February and we are working on a new project. But also at the same time, I'm going to show some of the people that have been asking what I do towards the end of the season. And so um, towards the end of the season, all the plants are dead. And so I collect the remains and then I compose them. And uh, this year, I'm actually going to compose them in the bin that I'm going to use to grow my plants and uh, I have been using this for the past few years I made multiple videos on this these are trash bins and they have wheels right here and uh, the good thing about these is um, they are weather resistant so they can stay outside and last for a very long time a lot of the pots that I use they deteriorate uh, like deteriorate over um, you know one or two years but these trash bins will last for a very very long time because they're meant to be placed outside and so um, they are sort of like a perfect system to grow um, many different types of plants and then I even incorporate the uh, the composting system right here so I put compost in there and then that would feed my plants and then now what I'm doing here is uh, going around the garden collecting all of the dead twigs that I that were left over from the plants uh, the prior year and like these here you see all these are plants from last year uh, leaves that have fallen from my uh, pear trees and uh, weeds and all that stuff so I'm gonna collect all of them and put them into that system and then put soil on top and then also I'll make a compost system just like I just showed you and then we're going to grow some plants on top so uh, I'll let you see how it turned out and then um, maybe you should uh, consider trying this system in your garden <laughs> okay so what are we going to use to fill up this massive container so what we'll do is we'll rake the yards get all of the leaves left over branches from last season uh, old potting mix right here and then also um, these boxes here they're great and so I have lots and lots of uh, uh, dead plants from last season they're great to be broken down to be used um, sort of like a, a, as a compost and I already showed you guys that over there and then these plants here I'm gonna pull it all up and then put those into the bin as well and then I have some of my own personal compost so here I have one of my compost bins here that I've been using and uh, I've made these over the years so they're really really good and rich soil in here and so we'll use that and then here's my other bin here so we'll, we'll use some from this as well so it's basically anything you have um, you know scraps of uh, leaves grass or weeds and um, boxes and all that stuff so just put them all in there that way you don't have to use a ton of soil because that container is pretty big <laughs> okay I have the container filled pretty much to the top with all the scraps in the yards grass leftover and uh, all the stuff that was grown last year and so now we are going to fill the upper half with soil and then let it sit for a few months to break down and then we can plant okay so here is a little bit of topsoil that I collected in my compost so we are just going to cover the top layer a little bit like that and then we'll close it and then we'll let that heat up and decompose and break down. And then once it's warm, we'll put our plant into here and we'll start to grow them. Okay, it has been almost two months now and I have been adding more and more stuff to this. So all these are new and then the, the stuff at the bottom is still there, but uh, it's kind of like broken down a little bit. You see that? And so today what we're going to do is uh, plant something in here and before we do that, I'm also going to add a composting system. So what, what it's going to do is I'm going to put the bucket right here. And then I'm going to cover it like this. And then anytime I have new compost, I'm going to put it right here. And see, I drill those holes out right there. And uh, just in case there's worms in here, they can come through and then uh, help break down it even more. And so we are going to... Um, 
dig this bucket down a little bit further so it could be level with probably this here and then I'm gonna fill the soil to the top and then I'm gonna put my pepper plant in and then we'll plant it okay just wanted to show you what the soil looks like in just under two months look at this nice and dark it's mixed in with uh, some of my uh, regular soil and then uh, a lot of it is just you know the scraps from the yard and it's it's already starting to break down you see and so um, in a few more months these are gonna be much much better and uh, it's gonna be really rich in here and the plant it's really going to love this okay the bucket is all planted I have two plants in here because I have a project that I'm working on so uh, I'm gonna put these two together and here's the compost system uh, I just added the extra soil that already in here and so um, these are this is where the scraps are gonna go that will feed the plants in the future so I don't plan to do any fertilization but uh, all of the compost and stuff like that is gonna go there and that is going to feed the plants throughout the season so follow along if you want to see updates for this system uh, just message below but uh, I've, I've used this before for many um, other plants like kohlrabi and uh, radishes and stuff like that and it works great so the system that I had st is still working so right here see uh, I'm growing radishes right now but it's so hot that the radishes are uh, starting to bolt so uh, I will be putting new stuff in there uh, these are for my these are my trees and uh, I dug this out of the ground and I used this bucket to uh, kind of uh, get the plants back to health again and uh, anyway the, the bucket is, is a great system so uh, try it out and I think you will really love it and if you want to see more updates just message below and I will give you guys an update later on in this season thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe